Now, I don't know if they're drawn to light, because I... Okay! Hello everyone, and welcome to Alone in the Dark. It's finally out! Or at least, it will be by the time you see this video. I want to say a massive thank you to THQ Nordic for sending me a copy of this. Uh, I, it's been on my radar for a while, although I've never actually played a single Alone in the Dark game. Like, not, not a one. Never. I've seen the original, uh, played by various people over the years. Uh, really looked very old school. I can't remember what year it came out, but it was like early mid-90s. It was, uh, I think it preceded Resident Evil as well. Um, so all I really know about this series is it is survival horror. Hopefully there's going to be some good spooks. Uh, I really don't know what else to expect. Oh! Ooh! Oh, okay, with the saxophone, I'm not sure if I should be scared or aroused. But yes, this has some pretty big A-list acting talent involved. David Harbour of Stranger Things and some of the Marvel stuff. I've never actually watched Stranger Things. And Jodie Comer? I hope I'm not saying her name wrong because it sounds rude. Uh, of Killing Eve, which is another thing I've never seen. So, but the, the big names. So I'm really, really hoping that this is going to be good. Uh, and I, I just want it to just give me some some other means of experiencing a nice survival horror game that isn't just Resident Evil or Silent Hill, you know what I mean? If, if this could be a return to the limelight, ironically, uh, for Alone in the Dark, then that'd be great. But let's jump in to a new game and uh, see what this place has in store for us. I know nothing about this game's story. Uh, standard difficulty is the intended difficulty. Okay, I'll do that then. And, oh, guidance. Oh no, are there gonna be puzzles? Oh no, there's gonna be puzzles. Um, I'm gonna go with, for those who want to figure out everything for themselves, no extra systems to guide the player, or help provided to make the uh, experience smoother and easier, including hints and helpful highlights. Oh, I'm gonna try old school and see, see how badly I get stuck. But yeah, here we go. I have, I have, I'm so ex- Big Frog, Toad. I really hope this is good. Really, really hope this is good. Are we in, uh, are we in Louisiana? Oh God, oh God. I thought it was just gonna run him over then. I think the car would come off worse to be honest. Are we in the, like, the 1930s or something? I know nothing about this. Ooh, I would not want to live around there. No. No, I'd be scared enough of the toads. Alone in the dark. This, this looks very, very Resident Evil 7. So, That's gorgeous. Your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. This is giving me big film noir vibes. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to keep him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. That's a nice optimistic view on life. 
Ooh. I like how moody this is already. I did not expect this to be a like a period piece. My uncle's piece. not well, Mr. Kirby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Choose a character. Oh my gosh. Uh, Edward Carnby, David Harbour. Or, what's your name? Emily Hartwood, Jodie Cummer. Uh, ooh, I didn't know you'd get to choose between two characters. I thought maybe you'd swap between them. Uh, I mean, to be honest, if he's got a gun, I'm going to play as the guy with the gun, because, yeah, I mean, I don't care what dangers are in this house. There's fucking crocodiles, okay? Or alligators or whatever. So I'm, I'm, I'm playing as Mr. as Mr. Carnby. Like his hat. Hello? Hello? Looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. Maybe we shouldn't split up so soon. We've literally just got here. Maybe don't split up immediately. Well, it's nice knowing you, Emily. I'll see you at the end of the game, maybe. Chapter one. This setup is great, though. Big, spooky mansion. Trying to find someone. Uh, and oh boy, is it dark as fucking here. Now, the title of the game is Alone in the Dark. I'm not scared of being alone in the dark. I'm scared of not being alone in the dark, to be quite frank with you all. Um, there is a... Look for a way inside the house. Right, so... Aha! We... I know that's a six-round pistol, right? But why would you only bring six bullets? Then again, maybe he wasn't really anticipating much danger here. I'd still bring more bullets than that. Um, also, do we have a flask of whiskey? That might be a healing item. I have no idea. Uh, there was... So, a couple of things. There was, like, a... A demo released for this a while back that I never got around to checking. I, I heard it was very short, so I, I don't know if we've missed much. I think it's like a prologue. Um, and also, there is no day one patch currently on this. So, if there are glitches or bugs that might be fixed with a patch, I don't know. Uh, I try not to read too much into games when I've been sent them, because I like to just go into them as if I just bought them myself and been like, you know what? This is what we get. Uh, that's a big car engine. Yeah, I didn't know this would be set in, like, the, the before times. I really didn't. Uh, can I interact with that? Okay, we can sprint with the left stick. Uh, do you have a torch, sir? I don't know if you're gonna have a torch. Or maybe a lantern. Okay, that feels- that feels very like Resident Evil Remake. Which is a good thing. Um... I don't even know- hang on, I haven't even checked the settings a second. Gameplay, controls, audio, display. Uh, we're on performance mode. Okay, that's fine then. We'll stick with that. Uh, I'm going to turn motion blur off. Thanks very much. Not a big fan of motion blur. And we do have subtitles on, so that's fine. Gameplay. And we can change the difficulty at any time, it seems, which is good. Okay. Right. Yeah, this is moody as, as anything, though. I like... Oh, okay. That's... Convenient. I guess we've just found ourselves a light source. Here. 
because it's really fucking dark. We got the flashlight. Oh my god, look at that. Press R, uh, the right stick to switch your flashlight on and off. And we got the kitchen garden key. Ooh, are we going to be going around finding keys and opening doors and shooting monsters, probably. Alright, now we're talking. Now I feel a little bit better. Um, and you can turn that off. I don't think it uses a battery or anything like that. Well, I can't imagine a torch from... What? I don't even know what year this is set, but it does look very 1930s. You know, just expect a, a wise guy with a Tommy gun to jump out and stick it to me. See? That's a trough. Uh, interesting audio cues going on. Hopefully we won't be kicking that bucket or that bucket anytime soon. I really don't know why you've gone out in here by yourself, dude. Emily! Do you mind? We never did check out that light, did we? I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to miss a few things. I... Uh... Well, that's the kitchen garden key. So far, this is so Resident Evil. Which is funny, because I think Resident Evil maybe copied the original Alone in the Dark a little bit. How the tables have- how the turns have tabled. Oh, we're back outside. Hello? Uh... Okay. What was that? Was that just an animal? I would not do well in the southern states of America. I really wouldn't. It is all just just hot, sticky. Ninety-eight point sixty-nine percent of the wildlife is trying to kill me. Uh, flies and spooky, spooky mansions. Hopefully, no cannibals in this one. Um. Oh, is that a statue? That's a fucking statue. I thought it was just a lady stood there, like, not saying hello to me. I thought she was just being rude. Oh. Oh, I don't want to go down there. Thank you very much. Nope. Nope. Don't fancy that. Uh, let's quickly check what's in here. Oh, we got some red herbs. That's fine. Got some healing. Nah, I'm not getting in there. Oh, we need a bolt cutter, don't we? We need a bolt cutter. What was your name again? Evans? I can't remember. Uh, oh, nice flower. This is a nice garden. This is a nice little garden. How big is this? What a what a mansion. How have I not already said that before, by the way? Right, well... It, it looks like this door's probably going to be locked as well. No! No, it isn't. Alright, we're in the greenhouse. That is a big tree. That is a big fucking tree. And I got jump scared by a bird. It begins. There's a... I like how comically big the keys are. At least I can see them. Housekeeper's key. Housekeeper's key. We found our second key item. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe that'll open the shed. I have no idea. That is a really one big tree to fit inside a conservatory. It is. It is. I wonder if we can shoot the cages down. I wonder if there's going to be things we have to unlock in the cages. Anything behind the big? What? What? What have you seen? What have you seen, Eric? I can hear someone. Can you hear someone moaning? I can hear someone moaning. Or whispering. Yeah, I don't like that. I swear I did. I swear I heard something. See, I don't even know really what to expect that we're going to fight in this game. 
Right, do I want to go this way? Oh, that's the... Is that going to open that? It is. Okay, maybe I don't want to do that just yet, though. Hello? Right, we're not going in there just yet. I'm going to go up these stairs a second. Go up the nice spirally staircase. Maybe grab a drink. Not going that way. It's very, very moody right now. I'm really digging the atmosphere. Uh, oh! Pistol bullets! Excellent! How many do I have now? I have nine! Oh, oh okay, we're not going up the staircase. That's where the plants live. Really, really nice staircase, though. I've got some spiral staircase in my house. Right. Well, the only way then, I think... Well, there was that hole in the garden. I feel like we should probably check it. Even though I really, really have a bad, super bad feeling about it. Uh... Oh! Hmm. Oh, am I gonna need a, a rope with a hook or something? I must need an item for that. Whatever the heck that is down there. You know, just... Just get on all fours and reach down. Doesn't look that far. It doesn't look that deep. Okay. Yeah, this is... This is beautiful, though. Right. Let's go through here. Gun at the ready. They've just given us ammo. I have a feeling there's a reason for that. Find the front door and let Emily Hartwood inside. I got an achievement! Welcome to Deserto. Break into Deserto, yep. Yeah. I can hear... I can hear noises. That did ruin my immersion a little bit. Oh, did I just move the- oh my god! I just moved the drawing! <laughs> nice! I'll take some matches, those matches, they might come in handy. Big spooky building. Uh, what do we have here? Don't mind if I do. It is a drink. Wow, we just boozing up to, to heal ourselves? If we drink enough, we won't feel the pain? Okay. Please, nobody jump out at me. I really don't. You know, with Resident Evil, I know it's zombies. With Silent Hill, I know it's... F fucking... Abominations from hell. Family Bible. Clue. Every Open. Every day, your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris, gris Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. 
Devil's shoestrings a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Hmm. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. What? How are we, how are we hearing that? We just had the receipt. Unless that's all written down though, but it, it didn't, it wasn't in the text. That was, that was strange. Uh, but that's my, my usual shopping list, that. Sacred sand, some black cat oil. Really, uh, really keeps the beard moist. Right. Well, I'm glad that read that out, because that was a lot. I'm glad I didn't have to read all that. That was a lot. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what the story's gonna be. More bullets, or oh, the Only one? Only one? Ooh, what's that? That's a fancy looking... Radio? A radio? Uh, can't su search the suitcase. Right. Well, that was, uh, that was interesting. First of all, we just need to get, we need to get our good friend Emily in here. That is a very nice kitchen. That is a very, very nice kitchen. Much better than the, uh, than the Baker families. Right, we've got many options here. Hopefully there's no, like, severed heads in here. Oh, just healing items. Okay, we've already got three of those. Something's gonna happen soon. Someone above me. I feel like someone's above me. Grab. Oh, they give me so much ammo. It's under there. Oh, they're giving me all of the bullets. Oh, Lord. Something's gonna come through that door, isn't it? Hear the clock ticking. Ooh, got some nice religious imagery going on. Looks like we missed dinner, though. Uh... It's the pantry. That's a, that's a big old pig, that, innit? That's a lot of meat. How many people lived in this house? Oh, hope, hope no one uses that against me at some point. What's that? Rat poison. Uh, la lag lagni apes are non-essential items that you can find- I've, I'm butchering that. Can find throughout the game. Completing sets will uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes even more. Oh, so that's not actually something we're gonna use, it's just like a collectible? Oh, so we can learn about, oh, right, the Great Depression. Okay, so this is, um, this is definitely 1930s then. Right. A goat without horns. Beast of burden. Oh, lots of, lots of things to find. Uh, investigation. Edward Carby, private investigator. Ah, Okay. Yeah, Louisiana State Board. Decetto, the old plantation building, was ready to fall, but kept alive by some starry-eyed carpetbagger called Dr. Gray. Seeing how the staff couldn't even be bothered with answering the door, Detective Comby figured they would just head inside and grab Jeremy. He just needed to open the front door for Emily first, so she could talk to her uncle. Oh, it's like a narration. Oh, that's so cool. That's gonna be really good for reminding me what the heck I'm doing. Uh, right, I like that a lot. Uh, we don't have the map right now, though. We have no map. What was that? What the fuck was that? They carry over from game to game. Some can't, uh, sets can't be completed without playing both Carby's and Emily's campaign. Right. There's a big chest there as well. Look, these environments look really good. 
Okay, we got plenty of plenty of supplies at the moment. How long is that gonna last? Okay, seems quiet. Oh. Oh, that wasn't open last time. Who's been checking on the oven? My, my pizza rolls weren't ready yet. You've ruined them. Ugh. Ugh. Suddenly I'm not hungry anymore. Keep on forgetting I've got a torch. Hello? Oh shit, there's two ways. Oh, they've got a dungeon next to the kitchen. That's great. I definitely don't want to go down there. Uh, oh. We're trying- Oh, great! He's trying it anyway. I actually just wanted to see if I could open that chest, but, uh... I suppose we will go down here, then. Hello? Big fucking rat- Well, I got some rat poison. Oh, did you have to do that? Streetcar ticket. Okay. Okay, so there's gonna be collectibles. I like that. Oh god. Oh god, we've got 17 bullets. I hope whatever we run into doesn't need more than need the key. that. Okay. We haven't got the key. We can't go in the creepy fucking sex dungeon. What a shame. What a shame. Oh my god. Why are there so many bullets in this house? For a second I thought that was locked. I thought something had locked me in. That would be fucking scary. Right. Can I not, like, close doors behind me? No, I can't. That's... Making me unsettled. Okay, I'm guessing that'll take us into the main part of the house. Where's this going? Oh! The boiler room? Someone's left a... fan on. Sabotage clue. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Okay, do not touch the boiler, it's working after all. So it was sabotaged, and someone's been playing a card game. Bit of Texas Hold'em. Anyone got any pairs? Pair of jacks. Oh yeah, you got two pair there. Ah. Uh-huh. That does not look safe, right. I mean, we were told not to touch the boiler. Hmm. Why is there a puzzle on the boiler? Did Chief Irons build this boiler? I guess we need to find the missing pieces for it. And then it's gonna be a shuffly picture puzzle. Oh god, I suck at those. Could you not just crawl under that? It's probably not that hot. Probably just maybe melt off a little bit of skin. Okay. We're already finding things we're gonna have to come back to. I like this though. This is classic survival horror. And we've not even found the horror yet. Alright. Up to the main house. Which is where we've heard all the fucking noise coming from. Holy carpet. Oh, I'm gonna get so lost. I'm gonna get so lost. Locked. A bathroom. Oh, there's rats everywhere, man. That, oh. How oh, gross. What do we have in here? More fucking bullets. Well, I'm I'm gonna take them. I'm glad that they given me them. Anything in the in the handbag? No.
Is anybody home? Oh, he's put. Why are you putting your gun away? Why would you do that? Keep it out. Map! We found a map! Floor plans. Perfect. Oh my god, this place is fucking massive! Okay, so we're near the library. Uh, small parlor through there, and then drawing room through that. And, oh god, yeah, they've even used the same, like, color scheme, haven't they, with the red and the blue? Okay. Okay. I'm liking this. Piazza- I read that as pizza key then. Uh, right, pizza key. Okay. And we have a locked medicine box. That is not the piazza, so that will not work. What's in the chest of drawers? More healing. A lot of stuff in this room. Lottie's diary. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Okay, not good, not good. Right, we need to go to the parlor to find the key for that box. That's what I'm gathering from that. Okay, so is there a quick way of opening the map? I guess just that. Uh, yeah, so small, oh, small parlor. That's probably not what we want then. We want the large parlor, wherever that is. There's a dining room. Oh, the grand parlor is the massive fucking room there. Right, that's where we need to go to. Uh, there is a locked door. But maybe we can open that now that we've... Oh, the piazza. Okay, 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 right. Can I zoom in on that map? That's all. Uh, don't seem to be able to. I can change the floor. Oh my god, this place is huge. Apparently, there's several puzzles that we've passed by. Okay, no, this is good, though. This is good. When's the first enemy going to turn up, though? They've given me so much ammo. Oh, hold to open the map. Okay, thank you, game. Right, well, so that's the piazza. We should be able to open that door. That's the library, which mm -hmm. also needs a fucking key. key. There we go. Welcome to the piazza! Which is... Ooh, above where we were before. Can I make a shortcut? That looks like we can just jump down there. Why is... Is that paint? I hope that's paint. Were they paint in the balcony? And it just broke through? That's probably what it was, right? I'm sure that's just paint. Glad that door wasn't locked. Ooh. Oh. Fucking hell. Why would you have that in your house? Imagine coming down in the middle of the night for a glass of milk. Seeing that, you'd be leaving a bloody brown stain all through the rug. In fact, there might already be a stain on the rug. Kind of. Uh, this is a- this is an amazing looking location. In it. Alright, Yogi. Oh. Oh yeah, we gotta <laughs> we gotta let Emily in. I completely forgot about her. Thanks. Oh, I feel much safer now. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me. Excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. 
I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. He will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby. Private investigator. Splendid. Enough! All of you, get back to your rooms. McCarthy, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. You don't give in a fuck. In the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent. Thank you, madam. <laughs> <laughs> the balls on that man. Just barging in like you own the place. Okay, so there's regular people around. I feel a lot ni a lot better now. There's no no baddies yet. This is so film noir though. I didn't expect this. All right. Here we are. Let's look around. See if we can pick up any clues. Okay. Search Jeremy's room for clues. Locked steamer trunk. Okay. Can't get in that yet. Uh, he has a lot of a lot of cushions. Oh, oh god, it's another picture puzzle. Locked box. Oh god. I can't yeah, I can't seem to do anything with that. It's like we haven't unlocked the ability to do the puzzles yet, you know what I mean? Like the game hasn't properly started yet. The Commonplace Book. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Pirosi? Back from the beyond. It's five pages of this. Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Signora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulchre, where you may rest, and I shall weep. There's four more pages of that. All right, I mean, we might as well play him, because it could be important. He mentioned a dark man? That doesn't sound good. How did you first come to understand such things, Signora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock, with its astronomical motifs, would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor? Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Tarawaya? 
I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What the fuck? What a terrible thing to say. It's a very terrible thing to say. The people of Deceto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All will be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. Okay, so it sounds like he was very paranoid about the people looking after him. Maybe he has a reason to be. Oh. The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark pact. Everyone is safe, except for me. I think there's some, some paranormal shit going on. Oh, last page is just a bunch of scribbles. I'm sure these are going to be clues. I'm sure these are going to be clues to puzzles. Key item, painted tile. Aha! Right. Larger picture. Gotcha. There's a lot of paintbrushes. And a, and a skull. Yeah. Classic. Uh, oh, we can talk to her. I found a book full of peculiar notes. Have you heard of something called Tarawea? No. What's that? I might be reading too much into this, but I think it's the place he wants to go to. Oh, okay. Sounds like a clue. Just need to find out where that place is. Maybe in some sort of hellish dark dimension. Ah, oh, at least he had a hobby, though. Very healthy looking hobby. Right, let's... Fix this picture. Uh, okay, this looks like it's gonna be fairly straightforward. Boom, aced it. First puzzle in the bag. In the box. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? Kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out? I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Oh, wow. That's striking. Oh, my God. I want to save this one. We'll hang that up in the back room. Ugh. Ugh. What the? All right, come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Come on, let's go. Okay, yeah, just, I'm coming. Just had a moment. Uh-oh. Miss Hartwood. Oh, no. Emily? Oh, no, it begins. Oh, it's nighttime as well, isn't it?
the hell is going on? Where am I? What the fuck? Okay, we tripping ball sacks right now. Investigate the corner store. Wait, we're in town all of a sudden? Oh, this is creepy. What the fuck is going on? She was just there and then she wasn't. That's always, that's just classic nightmare stuff, that, isn't it? Alright, we still can't get in that. Um, I've still got my gun, thankfully. Ooh. Shit has just got real. Esteban. Guess we're going downstairs. Because all the other doors are blocked by mops which and brushes, which are obviously impenetrable barriers. Oh, there's bugs. Oh, man. <laughs> oh! That doesn't look friendly. That doesn't look friendly. Um. Yeah, we gotta shoot you. I just, I'm just waiting for him to say something. Oh, you sneaky bitch! We killed it. We killed it. Kill the monster with a ranged weapon. What are those? What are those? They actually do look a lot like the mold things from Resident Evil 7. Jesus Christ. Um, this one doesn't seem to have uh, noticed me. Can you do stealth attacks? Oh, oh, he's on the move. He's buggering off. See you later, Jimmy. See, being cautious and slow as fuck pays off, because I would have totally got grabbed by that guy if I had just focused on it. That was a classic trap. It was a decoy. What is making that noise? Okay, it's begun. Right. Where's this guy? I shouldn't have really lost sight of him. Oh, shit. Check out the corner store. We we must think we're in a nightmare right now, because you wouldn't you wouldn't think this would happen in real life. You you must be thinking I'm dreaming. It's so foggy. Ooh. It's gone from Resident Evil to Silent Hill. I mean hey. I am all up for it. Apparently it's past my bedtime as well. Right, um, Do I? Do I? Your map is of no use here. Oh shit. Yeah, why don't I use my bloody torch? Keep on forgetting I've got it. Daily post. Ten cents. This can't be real. Right? Oh fuck! Fuck this. Well, at least the shop's lights are on. Sprint? Why are you telling me to sprint? Should I be sprinting right now? And other things I can find out here. There are. More healing. Oh, I'm full. I'm full on healing. Ah, that won't be for very long. More bullets. I would love like a hot dog or something. Johnny the Conqueror. Roots and medicine. I'm guessing it's not gonna let me go too far this way. I can't go that way. I mean, you obviously can, but I don't know why you'd want to. Okay. Uh, oh, I've got a bike. <whistles> ding the little bell. Ding ding. Ding ding. Help. <laughs> Help. Um, well, there's a door there. Do I go in that door? 
We do. I'd be crying like a baby right now. He's tall. Don't let him get inside, Carl Bear. They're not the good guy. Are you... Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this? How? The pack with the dog man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. Are you a thinking man, compare? No, uh, not if I can help it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, compare. Yeah, the mama lower. Here, take the key. Oh, thanks. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you could find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. Can we team up? You look pretty handy with that hammer. Also, you're fucking massive. Batiste's keys. Okay. The three keys on the chain, one that opens up to Miss Jackson's place in the French Quarter, then there are two belonging to Deserto, one for the clerk's office and one for the library. Damn, three keys in one go. Okay. What's that? Preserved reptile. Oh! That's another reason why I couldn't- I couldn't live in places like that. There's too many fucking snakes, man. Mm. Lizards. Lizards aren't too bad. Uh, oh, there's nothing in that chest. Right, well, at least we found a friend, and he seems to be aware of the predicament we're currently in, so that's nice. Uh, anything else in his shop? The environments look awesome, though. Like, there's so much detail. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect this game to be looking this good. Right. Save me, Jeebus! Wait, that's Mary, sorry. Whoa, camera. Uh... Right, Batiste. Can I talk to you? You wanna come along? Please. Nah, I'm gonna stay here for a while. Please? Please come with me? Anything I can do for... Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Batiste. Just tell my sister Lottie I'm alright if you see it. Okay. I don't know how I got here, by the way. I was in a bedroom and then suddenly I'm in town. Alright. I'm heading out. Be careful out there. Okay. We tried anyway. We tried, Edgar. Ooh, hang on. What's... Oh, that's the what I just opened. Right. I guess we're heading back out into the into the gloom. Can I save like man? Oh, I can save. We should probably save. Why did it start me in the middle and not at the top? That's weird. Anyway, at least we've saved. Okay. Right, you know there's gonna be gonna be some shit out here now. It is so atmospheric. I can hear a weird noise and it's unsettling. I don't like it. What the fuck is that? What? What? What's that? Is it two stuck together? Is it one holding another one? Items can be thrown at enemies or used to distract them. Tap right trigger to quickly throw an item. Hold RT to aim. I don't have an object to throw right now. I mean, I guess you can... What did I just throw? Can I throw a bottle? 
I think I've just drawn its attention more to me. Oh, man. Can you just pick up random... Oh, is it right? Random... Oh! That looked like a Molotov. What if I throw it at you? Oh, you didn't like that. You didn't like that. Is there a sneak button? Oh, fuck. Um. Um. It wasn't me. I didn't do that. Okay, I'm just going to leave you alone. You seem to be pretty slow. Uh, shit, which way am I going? Go away. Oh god, I missed. Oh god. Oh, why did the music suddenly get so loud? Holy fuck. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. I think there's an item there. Shit! 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 Oh! Oh! What the fuck? Those leeches? What? Oh, no. Okay. It seems to be stuck. It seems to be stuck. Bullets. Bullets. Music, calm your fucking tits. What on earth is going on here? It's giving me more items to throw. Oh no! Oh, good shot. Reload. Move a bit fucking quicker, mate. That's not sprinting. That's a brisk walk. Oh. Oh. Right, so yeah, okay. I'll throw that in the pan. So, it looked like just Molotovs, but it's just bottles, isn't it? It's just bottles you can throw. Okay. Oh shit, there's one up there too. So we must be able to throw them to... Like, lure them to certain places and sneak past them. But there doesn't seem to be like a sneak button. Oh, you can look. Look a bit closer, okay. RB does nothing. Square. Y. Oh, Y is sneak. Okay. Right, gotcha. Y is sneak. Let's throw that up. Okay, that might be a bit buggy. The throwing objects is a little bit jank. The throwing of the objects is a little bit jank, not gonna lie. Please don't anything bust out of that. Please don't anything bust out of that. I, I guess we have to go up here. We don't have a map of this area, do we? We have no map. Now, I don't know if they're drawn to light, because I... Okay! Okay! All right. Uh, I need something to throw. There's nothing to throw. I've noticed the the audio's a little bit delayed. I don't know if that's on my end or what. Oh, mate, you're gonna have to run a lot fucking quicker than that. You dead? Oh, that's gross like a bunch of maggots. I pro I'm probably wasting so much ammo. Are you definitely dead? Okay. Yeah. I don't know if, like, you can actually hurt them with throwing bricks or bottles at them. But, uh... Yeah, maybe, like, I could have lured, lured it down and thrown something over there and then ran up the stairs to avoid it. Like, should I be saving more ammo and just avoiding enemies more. I don't know. But yeah, the throwing of the objects is a little bit jank. Also, yeah. Again, I feel like there's a little bit of delay between some of the audio cues. Again, that might be something that uh, day one patch will fix. I'm playing this on Xbox, by the way. 
Fucking really. Fucking really. They're really fast, by the way. Oh, that is a Molotov! And he just walked it off like it was... Oh no, he is dead. And I got an achievement. Bonfire Knight. Okay. So I did waste a bullet there. That's fine. But at least now I know they are actually Molotovs. Oh, if I could have lured them all together, that probably would have taken them out with one. And I guess we can't just, like, pick up a Molotov and save it for later. Like in The Last of Us. Okay. I mean, they did give me all those bullets for a reason. Now I'm... I've still got... I've still got ten. Still got ten. I mean, I've got... I've got at least six, which is more than enough to kill anything that moves. Uh... What's that? Juju! Okay. And you've got two of those. Uh, two out of three. Tell you what, whoever's... Whoever's buying all these candles... Must be quite... Quite wealthy. I, I couldn't think of any, of any jokes to make there. I was gonna do, like, John Wick, but... It doesn't really work. Right. I guess I'm supposed to go in here. I recognize this place. It's Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. Okay, well there's one right there. I don't really know anything about this culture, by the way. Oh, In between there are doors? I'm getting a lot of achievements. Find your own talisman. Uh, okay. An old talisman shaped over the centuries. The engravings of the numbers look to be less than 100 years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. It's exactly like the talisman Jeremy made. Oh, am I gonna have to put it in that? I think it's meant for the talisman. Yeah. Boom. Oh no, it's a puzzle! It's a puzzle! Oh no, switch I discs. Think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Oh yeah, good point. Oh man, it's proper old school, isn't it? Having to read the notes to see the. Right. Okay. I mean, I'm sure if I'd picked the modern thing, it it would give me a hint here, but um. Right. So, obviously going to have to rotate these. They've all got numbers around them. So which one is like the... Oh, God. Right. Let's have a, let's have a read of your notes. This could, this could take us a while. Uh, Talisman schematics. Ah. 358. Talisman with a black sunstone. Three numbers need to span a bridge between the scapes of dream and memory. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Three, five, eight, was it? Three, five, eight. Question is, like... Is that correct? Like, where does the number actually need to be? Oh, I see. Wait, how did I do that before? How did I... Three... Six, that's four... Five... Where's the five on that? There is no five. I'm guessing it's... Oh, God. Oh, boy, guys. Uh... I mean, there's fives around the edges, but I don't think... Do I need to pay attention to those? I can't even see the full thing, so I'm guessing not. Uh... I mean, that would be... F f 
Right, so that's eight. No, I'm trying to change discs. This this can't be right. This can't be right. That's where five would be. You know what I mean? Like I don't even know. This is this. I'm gonna be on this forever. I'm gonna be on this puzzle forever. I don't understand. There's like where am I trying to align things? You know what I mean? Okay, so, full disclosure, I've turned on the modern, uh, hint controls. And now we've got numbers on the right, and as I rotate, it changes the combination. So, because that's what I was trying to figure out. I was like, where am I trying to start? Like, which, which dial needs to be facing which way for it to count as, okay, that number's selected now. You know what I mean? Like, I was looking at that, and it was just a whole bunch of random shit. Uh, so, I've, I've had to do that. So, that's on eight. So, we want it to be... We want it to be three. Like, I wasn't sure if I was working my way inwards uh, or working my way outwards. It was very confusing. So now if I change this, like, how would I, how would I know? Like, which way that's supposed to be? So that's, f that's five, apparently. I have no clue. I'm just not seeing the solution here. And then... Eight, I guess. Oh. It's showing something. A place? Where is that? Huh. Oh, something's just opened somewhere. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm just going to keep the modern hint controls on, because quite honestly, I had no clue with that. Am I just dumb? I mean, don't answer that. But, like, I couldn't even make head or tails out of that puzzle. I would love to try that again, actually, without the hints, but it's done now, anyway. So, um, that's opened this door. Was there anything else in this room? I was on that for a few minutes. I was like, where am I trying to align these dials? Like, good God. I am, um, I've only done one escape room in my whole life, guys. I did, I did, we did win, but it also helped I was with three other people. Detective, I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect, I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Show me your license. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, it's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Can you explain that last puzzle? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood. <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, Detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, Detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. I'll just have a Coke. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try this. Is he crazy, though? I mean, at the, the shit we've just seen? I'd be more worried about me. It's good. Got a bite. <laughs> it's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay. What can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, oh, well... Let me think. 
He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? I can relate. Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go. But I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. Chapter 2. Oh, it's all gone very weird, hasn't it? So we just stumbled into the doctor's office. Uh, why did it just take kick me back out to the... Why did it just kick me back out to the dashboard? Please tell me it saved. I think the game just crashed. Okay, so uh, the game crashed. The game crashed, which is not a good sign. Uh, and now I'm back here again. So at least now, I could try this puzzle again and see if I can figure out what's going on. Um, so I'm going to do that quickly, and then we're going to just hopefully get through that cutscene, get to chapter 2, and then we'll probably call it a day. Okay, back to chapter 2. I still couldn't figure out that last puzzle. Um, I turned the hints off again, and I, I managed to solve it. Oh, and thankfully the game hasn't crashed. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. You guys in the comments will have to tell me what the heck was going on with that. Detective Carnby, how did you... Where did you go? You won't believe me. I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No, it's not what you think. Have you... Have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective, I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to, I want to try something else. With this talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy, the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? Tarawea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective? Are you gonna be alright? I don't think so. Yeah. Of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. Splitting up already? We just got reunited. Oh, man. Find the astronomical clock mentioned in the commonplace book. Find the... Oh, and we're going back to the boiler room, are we? Okay. So, um, I think we're going to end there. Uh, so far, mostly positive. A couple of weird jankiness to the game. Uh, I, again, I don't know if that's because there's not been a day one patch or anything. But um, I like the, the atmosphere, the setting. The, the mystery is interesting. Uh, I feel like our character is just already going insane, though. Like, it didn't take long, did it? Um, I think he's handling it better than I would be, though. I would be like saying to her, listen, I was in this, I was in town suddenly, there was these fucking monsters. But I'm curious to see how this game's going to pan out. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, that's where we're going to end it, chaps. Thank you for watching some Alone in the Dark. It's, uh, it's finally here. And again, a big thank you to THQ Nordic for sending me a copy. Uh, maybe there'll be more of this. We'll see. Take care. Bye bye for now.